Emily and the Special Cars. It was summer on the island of Sodor. All the engines were excited. Gordon had set a new record for pulling the express. Emily was on her way to pick up two very special passenger cars. They had been newly painted to celebrate Gordon's record. Sir Topham Hatt was going to present them to Gordon. Emily had stopped to take on water. Diesel pulled up alongside her. You look very pleased with yourself, oiled Diesel. Emily told him all about Gordon's record and collecting the passenger cars. Gordon's not the only one who's special, Diesel oiled proudly. Well, there's nothing special about smelly old Diesels, pouted Emily. I haven't time to listen to you. I have to collect more coal. And Emily steamed off. This made Diesel very cross, and he rattled away. Later, Emily arrived at the yards. But Gordon's special cars weren't there. Diesel has already collected them, puffed Thomas. He said it was his job. But that was my job, huffed Emily. I'll have to find them. I mustn't be late for the presentation ceremony. Emily puffed quickly across the island. She was looking for Diesel and the special cars. Suddenly, Emily saw Diesel waiting at a signal. He was coupled up to Gordon's special passenger cars. Why have you taken Gordon's cars, she snapped sharply. Because, Diesel began, I haven't got time to listen to you, huffed Emily. Give me those cars. Not if you won't listen, groaned Diesel, and he sped away. Emily chased after Diesel. It was getting later and later, and Emily was worried. But as usual, Diesel was being devious. He knew all the tricks, and many different tracks. Emily just couldn't catch him, and he made her look foolish. Emily steamed into Maithwaite Station. Sir Topham Hatt was there. Where are Gordon's special cars? he asked her. Diesel took them, sir, huffed Emily. We must find them at once, boomed Sir Topham Hatt. And he climbed aboard Emily. Diesel had hidden the cars in a siding, but he wasn't feeling well. Something was wrong. He started to slow down. Up ahead, Diesel saw Emily with Sir Topham hat. Now I'm in trouble, he moaned. Diesel, said Sir Topham hat sternly, where are Gordon's special cars? They're in a siding, sir, said Diesel quietly. Take Emily there at once, ordered Sir Topham Hatt crossly. Yes, sir, oiled Diesel. Diesel showed Emily the cars in the siding. Emily could see black smoke coming from Diesel's engine. What's wrong with your engine, asked Emily. My engine's old, spluttered Diesel. All that rushing around has worn it out. Then you shouldn't have taken the passenger cars, huffed Emily. And you should have listened to me, snapped Diesel. Why should I listen to a smelly old Diesel? Because Gordon's not the only one who set a record, oiled Diesel quietly. I've set one too. Emily was surprised. Have you? She wished, and this time she listened. I've shunted more freight cars in one day than any other Diesel, Diesel oiled and he spluttered sadly away. Oh, 
dear, said Emily sadly. Diesel is just as special as Gordon. Emily raced to Knapford with Gordon's special cars. Now, she wanted Diesel to feel special too. As she puffed into Knapford station, Emily had an idea. She told Sir Topham Hatt all about Diesel's record and about her idea to make Diesel feel special. Sir Topham Hatt listened carefully. That's a very good idea, Emily, he said. Tell Diesel to come here this afternoon. Emily found Diesel. She told him he had to go to Knapford. Then Emily raced off to collect Diesel's surprise. Later at Knapford Station, Sir Topham Hatt presented Gordon with his special cars. Don't my passenger cars look splendid? Puffed Gordon proudly. Everyone agreed. Just then, Emily puffed into the station. And this new diesel motor is for you, Diesel, chuffed Emily. Diesel was surprised. Whoa! I'm sorry I didn't listen, said Emily. Now I know that diesels and steamies are both special. Everyone cheered for Gordon and Diesel. <laughs>